world geography with Mohammed Adnan. Today tutorial is related to LSD. As you can see, the image of Landsat uh, seven of ETM. So for this, you first need to check if there is any scan line or not. As you can see in our image there is a no scan line so it not need to be correction of a scan line but sometimes it have a scan line like I am showing you this of the data of 2000 um, to of 2000 and now we open to the data of 2010 and you can see same area but the scan line present in it we need the uh, for the LST of Landsat 7 the band number 6 and in the LST the band 6 have a two bands like a 61 and 62 so we use the 61 as you can see the line is present so that's why we not use this uh, if you want to know how to remove this scan line from the Landsat image so we uploaded the video on our channel so we share the link of that uh, tutorial in our description okay so let's we start our LST method which we follow here we use the raster calculator So as you can see the raster calculator is open and here is a line set 7 of a band 61 okay 61 so we have uh, some formulas for this and this video we will be share in our description so here is a thermal band and uh, band 6 then we go for the formula and for formula you need uh, the notepad uh, file of this data which you get from uh, the satellite image when you go like a 2000 of data we open that one mtl file this one is a present in a notepad one which i already opened it this below one okay so here is the formula which we want to follow here i'm defining what this means this is the red radiance of a maximum one okay and radius of a minimum values so we need to apply it uh, where is the la is the spectral radiance which is the band 6 okay so finally for the start it is according to our formula here is the LN yani ke lam, L lambda spectral radius we need to find and here is a QCL which we apply after the uh, maximum radiance and minimum radiance so we erase it it's no need now we first open our uh, the, the notepad and we find here the radius one the maximum first here is some maximum values for it and it is in combined yes it is in combined radiance maximum and minimum so we going for the radiance maximum we want is that 17.0 and we press each to here simply then we open the formula here is a minus minimum which we use is here it's mostly zero because zero point zero you can just simply write and it's zero then divide it uh, bracket close which not necessary but you can keep it in so open the bracket for the other values of a formula is the 
all confines maximum and minimum so first we need the maximum it is a 255 we go here and open the formula yes here the maximum first then minimum <coughs> Here we copy maximum and we go for minimum. That one is one. We can see minimum is one. Separate. Okay. After subtraction, uh, we go to the multiply the band. This one, okay, with a bracket. This one band is called in a formula. That is the quantize calibrate pixel value in the DM that I have provided by the thermal band. Okay, then we minus the max minimum. The minimum value is QC of minimum, which is one. Minus one. Then we close the bracket and then we go forwards. We go for the plus and the L minimum. Uh, L minimum, a radius minimum, which is zero. And we can uh, pass it or not, no matter, but we can pass it. So now we give it to the radius. Keep here L7 like a lens at 7 okay and the simple OTH okay. it will process so we work for the hole and over study area just this green one so we clip it after processing it so now it's performing all this one of uh, path uh, of a UHGS site that is a uh, 138 and the row of it is 0.44 okay our value is done as you can see now we are going for the next step that is works that is converting of a dn after that we convert the radius into the bg and the Kelvin. so here is the two constant that is the k1 uh, and k2 okay so here K1 and K2 have different values in the different satellites, so we follow each and uh, paste it in the work formula. So we again open the plastic calculator, then we go for the formula. Here the formula is very simple. Mm, just for the K2 values, K2 values divided by this. What is the K2 values uh, for let's say this? We go each, then come here and uh, simple press here, then divide it by long ln and k1 divided by what is the value of k1 and C formula. K1 is there one. 666.09 which is simple first then divide it by uh, lambda 1 that is the radiance and then plus 1 ok then plus 1 if you use these signs of and these numbers of the calculator so it will be good uh, by reducing any mistake in it because this specific ID provided with this calculator ok so we done the formula now we go for its output that we call Kelvin uh, length of 7 ok <coughs> just simple ok so as you can see the data is coming in the Kelvin. Now we converted it into the uh, 
degree Celsius, so it's very simple. We follow the formula. The formula says that Kelvin minus two seventy three point one five. So here we just simple keep it and then separate two seventy three. We use this calculator two seventy three point one five. And here we just give its name and here we change in the degree Celsius. process and then process is complete so here you will get the data so process is done and now you can see the values is the highest is the 34 and the lowest is the minus 105 because there is some barrier in the size so when we clip our study area which is that so you get the lowest and the highest values so now is the time to clip our study area from this um, calculated LST. We used extra extra by mask one tool. Uh, this tool is using and we keep the degree Celsius and the study area. This is Chua Langa, the district of Bangladesh, Kodan and uh, division. And we keep it to Chua Langa. Degree Celsius, LST. Just simply keep it LST. In the process of I am not keep it in its output point, it's okay. If it is not done, so I will give it again. But it's done, it's safe in the default position. It's okay. I want to save it on the geo database which I created. As you can see, which I am saying to about that, the values is changing from uh, 20. And here is the lowest value showing in a minus 104, which is an incredible. But it is due to mm, the barrier which I am sense around this image present, maybe because it is a lens set 7 and it is corrected. So that's why when we extract our area, so here is the exact value is coming, and that is a 20 lowest and the highest is the 30. I'll change its color. Here you can see. Yes. All the remaining one I should close. So that is the LST of our area which we generated. We are the highest vitamin I inverted it. So as you can see the highest percentage of uh, the highest degree of uh, temperature there where is the red color showing and the lowest is there where is the blue color is showing so i hope you like our tutorial if you want to learn more things so subscribe our channel and stay with us thank you for watching